prepare to experience the strongest radio allowable by law. Secrets will be revealed. Myths Myths dispelled. dispelled. From the studio gym where excuses never apply. It's Superhuman Radio with your host, Carl Lenore. This is Science for Humans with Dr. Jeff Galini. Hey, Dr. J, how you doing? Good, Carl. How about you? Fantastic, fantastic. You know, um, it is true when I say that we are carbohydrate-phobic uh, today. Uh, you know, oh. and, and, and I understand there are... Diet is very specific to your goals. And if your goals are to be... Uh, a healthy, lean person, you may be cutting carbs. But if your goal goals are to be a consistently effective athlete, that's a big mistake, isn't it? You know, it is. And I think that's the problem today is there's too much information, you know, on the Internet where, you know, a young athlete goes to look, uh, you know, about a good diet. And, you know, most of what you find are like bodybuilders who write stuff. And as you said, I mean, carbohydrates are essential to uh, to an athlete. I mean, I played a lot of sports in my life. And, you know, from football, basketball, you know, bodybuilding, track, wrestling, baseball, um, powerlifting. I was even thinking, boy, even when I played chess, I mean, you know, you would be mentally focused being on a low-carb diet and going into a chess match or a poker game. <laughs> Yeah, no, you could, you, uh, you, know. you 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 can't function. There's no doubt about it. And so, really, I guess the first thing is specificity. You, I guess people need to decide what their goals are. Yeah, and, and if you're, you know, when we're talking about being an athlete, so there's different things. You know, if you're not an athlete and you're just trying to, you know, decide whether or not, you know, you need to get in shape, what you need to do, that's a different situation. You know, today I want to talk to the athletes out there, whether you're just a weekend warrior, um, you know, motocross, you do something for fun, or, you know, you do it from the collegiate high school or, you know, a professional level. Um, that's who we're going to talk to today. So, like you said, you got to define what, what is your goals? I mean, what is your sport? So, technically, what, what, talk about what, 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 is, what is a carbohydrate, technically? You know, technically, uh, organic compounds that are found in foods and living tissues. So they're usually broken into, you know, starches, sugar, and cellulose. So cellulose kind of being the uh, the fiber part, the starch being more of the complex, and then the sugar being more of the, the simple. Um, but a carbohydrate is something that your body converts into energy. And obviously as an athlete, you know, energy is what we're looking for. Yes, and uh, and that's, again, the definitive factor here when we talk about diet and the role of diet in specific goals. Uh, as an athlete, you're, you're wanting to perform over and over again at a very, very high level, and you, you can't do it. There, there are a lot of athletes out there that are now experimenting with the ketogenic diet, but it's, then, it's not football players, you know what I mean? It, it, people no. who need energy on demand, they are, they are going to need carbohydrates. You know, I even know NASCAR drag racers. I mean, they're carbohydrate loading before they're doing those events. And, you know, most of the time, you know, people don't think of them as athletes, but they are. The same with, you know, rodeo and bronco bull riding. Wow. I mean, those guys are athletes, and they are carbohydrate loading. They're doing the same thing a football or basketball player would do. So, again, you know, carbs are very, very important. Um, you burn them up very rapidly. But as we said, you know, this is what your body takes, converts this down into glucose. Your body then converts that to ATP, which is what your muscles burn for energy. No ATP, no energy. So, you know, you got to be careful. You know, again, being afraid of carbs. You know, athletes should never be afraid of getting fat. There's only one way you gain fat, and that's by eating too much. And I don't care whether it's fats, proteins, carbs. I mean, you know, if you eat more than what you're expending, your body's going to start for fat because that's your, your energy supply. Okay, so you, you just listed the three different uh, forms of carbohydrate. Uh, is one of them more important to the athlete than the other? 
Well, they're all important, but I think the most important, let me start with the least. So, you know, cellulose, which is, you know, your your fibers that come from your, your greens and your vegetables, on that plant needs fiber. Um, typically, those things aren't converted to fuel. Those things help to keep you regular, keep things moving. But we're going to spend too much time on those. We're going to spend more time on the first two. The first one, when we talk about, we're not talking about sugar. Um, a lot of times when we say sugar, you know, people freak out, Carl, because they, they classify everything in the same category. Um, your your simple carbohydrates are sugars, things like all your your fruits. Um, a lot of vegetables contain uh, simple sugars. Um, and a lot of carbohydrate phobia people, you know, tell you stay away from fruits. They're no good. My goodness, you know, as an athlete, you need those simple sugars. I mean, to this day, I still have a banana before I go work out. Really? I've been doing that for 20-some, 30 years. Interesting. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I like the little bit of simple sugar. Um, I like the little bit of potassium. I know that it's going to be absorbed very quickly. Um, but it's just been part of my regimen. It works for me. The other big group is the starches, the complex carbohydrates. So your sugars are going to be absorbed very, very quickly you know, 5, 10, 15 minutes, depending on what the fruit is, your complex carbohydrates um, are going to be much slower absorbed. And these things are uh, things like potato, rice, pasta, breads, um, anything basically that's not a fruit or vegetable. Um, and, you know, you could classify, uh, you know, nuts and uh, pastries as a complex carbohydrate, but the problem is, is they also contain sugars and fats. Mm -hmm. So... Those are a man-made type thing. We're talking about, you know, naturally occurring carbohydrates. But depending on the source, you know, it depends on how long it takes your body to that down. It could be two hours. It could be six or seven hours. So that's your long-term fuel source. Do you want Do you want to stack them together as an athlete? Do you want to have fast-acting uh, sugars uh, combined with the slower-acting starches so you have uh, immediate energy and then sustained energy? Yeah, absolutely. You know, this is where it depends on, you know, what your sport is. Um, you know, if you're a marathon runner, you're going to carbohydrate load a lot differently than, say, a football player. So, yeah, you know, I mean, you want to take in some simple carbohydrates just to kind of start everything. And I like bananas uh, or oranges or apples. I mean, whatever your favorite fruit is. But that doesn't mean you only eat those before, um, you know, practice or a game. You can, you know, eat throughout the day. I mean, when you get to some part in your day where you're feeling a little bit tired, normally you're just out of energy. So what a better way than to refuel by having some simple carbohydrates. The complex carbs, you know, again, loading the night before, which means you're going to eat a carbohydrate meal the night before game practice, and then, you know, a carbohydrate meal, maybe two or three hours beforehand, uh, some of the quicker acting like, you know, potatoes and things that are absorbed a lot quicker than, you know, like your grains and um, your rice. Right. And so... You like carbs, don't you? Of course. Who doesn't? I like... So my, fa <laughs> my favorite carbs are as follows. I, I love plantain and I love sweet potatoes. I mean, those are really two of my favorite carbohydrates that I eat regularly. Plantains and sweet potatoes are very, very similar. They have a lot of that red flesh to them, that beta carotene. Mm. Um, I love uh, new potatoes, the red ones, better right. than I like white potatoes. I, I don't know why they just... Oh, someone once told me there's more uh, amylose and less amylopectin. So amylopectin, I guess, is the sugar portion of the starch, and obviously amylose is the... Uh, um, is is the fiber, or maybe I got it backwards, but the bottom line is there's more fiber and less sugar uh, in, in the red potatoes than there is in the white potatoes. And the other thing that I like to do is I like to cook my potatoes the day before and then refrigerate them uh, because, once oh. again, it, it, it slows down the uh, gastric emptying. It slows down digestion. It makes them a more long-acting carbohydrate if you're loading with them. Yep. So, so again... Um, don't be afraid of carbohydrates. You know, if you have a friend, maybe they're, uh, they're a high-end bodybuilder, you know, and they will go on a low-carb diet. What 
they're trying to get rid of body fat. Well, you know, for most sports, you need body fat. So you wouldn't want to follow the same type of plan as that bodybuilder uh, is using. Uh, the same way if you are a football player and you've got a friend that you want to help bodybuild, you would not put them on the same type of diet. So, again, you don't need to be afraid of carbohydrates. And, you know, the other thing, too, is people who are trying to diet, um, you know, they go on these ketogenic diets and they don't know what they're doing. And it actually works in reverse for them. Uh, again, I, I love carbohydrates, and even when I put people on a diet, whether it's a contest diet or just trying to lose weight, I always have them eat carbohydrates. You know, the killing to metabolize that that body fat. Um, again, it's more of, of you know a life change than just going on some type of of a diet. You know. Do you think do you do you, do you subscribe to this idea that when you're eating your carbs, you should not be eating a lot of fat with them? You know, I have heard that, and I think it makes a lot of sense, but let's face it, who has time to separate their foods? <laughs> uh, even when I was bodybuilding, I'm like, I'm eating every two hours. How, I can't eat every half hour, so I always combine my foods. And I think if you talk to most athletes, they're probably in the same boat as, yeah, probably is best, you know, to eat your starch and then eat your protein, um, but, you know, I just eat them all at one time. <laughs> yeah, no, I know. There, there's there's uh, different schools of thought out there that if you're if you want your carbohydrates for an immediate source of energy, that you shouldn't eat them with right. fats and all this other stuff. But anyway, okay. So, um, when we talk about carbs and sugars, there are certain carbohydrates and certain sugars that we should stay away from, right? Yeah, you know, I mean, when you talk about what to stay away from, this is where I call it the man-made stuff, you know, processed, um, refined sugars, um, donuts. I'll just use that for an example. Now, I'm not saying that don't ever eat a donut. You know, don't go out and say Dr. Jeff that says donuts are the devil. Um, they're just not good for you. Do they taste good? I, I haven't had one in probably 25 or 30 years, but I remember it did taste pretty good. Right. Um, but that isn't a good fuel source, again, because you've got a lot of um, trans fats in there, which are bad for you. You've got a lot of refined sugars. you got preservatives. Um, body burn it for fuel, yeah, but it's just not the same. It's like going out there and uh, in one of these dragsters that, you know, run off of that high ethanol octane gas and just – Put in regular gas from the pump. It probably will run, but it's going to tear that motor up. Same thing with our bodies. You know, as an athlete, you want to take in higher quality food, fuel. I mean, you know, you want your body to perform, so it's not going to perform as well. So, you know, these refined sugars, um, like I said, pastries and donuts and things like that. I mean, a lot of times, especially younger athletes, you know, this is what they're they're being given, you know, for their, their fuel source, and it's just not a good fuel source. So I always say stay away from those type of things. Um, I don't like eating anything that I don't uh, know what it is. Right. And I don't know what a donut is. I mean, I know how to make. Yeah, but you don't you don't really know what they, you don't really know what they're putting in them in in most cases, and no, what, what kind mean, of oils they're frying even, them with or anything like that. No. Even the bakery that I go to here in Billings uh, called Ray Ray's, uh, they're an organic uh, gluten-free because, you know, I uh, I'm, I choose not to use gluten. Um, i got to ask what's in everything because, you know, they don't normally label that kind of stuff when you just buy it from the bay. Right. But again, I need to know what, what is in that before I'm going to eat it. So um, we're going to take our commercial break in a minute, but when we come back, I, I want to talk about engineered carbohydrates, especially since um, – you manufacture something called Carbolin, uh, which is an engineered right. carbohydrate specifically for sports performance. I want to talk about, I want to talk about why it's different, but I also want to talk about, is it something, if, if someone is going, let's say someone is a rider and keep this in the back of your mind when we come back. They, they, they're a cyclist, right. right? Can you, can you actually carb load with Carbolin? Can you just drink it every couple hours and carb load with Carbolin? So let, let's save that for when we come back, okay? We're going to take a quick commercial okay. break. We'll be right back with more of Science for Humans. We're talking about the role of carbohydrates in the athlete's diet. Stay tuned. Do you know how to properly use carbohydrates to ignite your performance in the field and in the gym? You will now, thanks to this free book by EFX Sports. 
The Carb User's Guide for Maximum Performance reveals why omitting carbohydrates from your diet can totally crush your gains. Ever wonder how many grams you need for your specific sport? Not anymore. We give you the critical number you need to dominate your competition. You'll even discover the super carb that's taking the athletic world by storm. You must try it to believe it. Go to getcarbolin.com forward slash carb guide today and get your copy absolutely free. Once again, it's G-E-T-K-A-R-B-O-L-Y-N dot com forward slash C-A-R-B-G-U-I-D-E. Eat dessert again with the new 100% natural line of high-protein, low-carb Quest protein bars. I love lemon cream pie and strawberry cheesecake, but you can choose from chocolate peanut butter, coconut cashew, or cinnamon roll as well. No matter which one you try, you'll feel like you're eating dessert, but this is no ordinary dessert. With 20 grams of high-quality whey protein isolate, 17 grams of prebiotic fiber, and sweetened with stevia, these bars will make you feel like you're cheating, but you're not. Go to superhumanradio.com and click the Quest protein bar banner ad to learn more about these clean and delicious protein bars. 4.6 million years of evolution gave us the blueprint for the perfect protein supplement for humans. So why do all protein supplement manufacturers ignore it? We don't. The first human appropriate protein supplement is Thrive Advanced. Built around the blueprint of mother's milk, Thrive Advanced contains the amino acids, peptides, micronutrients, enzymes, probiotics, and vitamins that support protein absorption and assimilation. All of our dairy proteins come from happy cows on pastures here in the United States and are low heat pasteurized. You'll never find any artificial sweeteners, additives, or ingredients. You won't even find thickeners or gums in Thrive Advanced. And we back up our label claims with post-production lab analysis that's available right on our website. Visit superhumanradio.com and click the Thrive Advanced banner ad and use code SHR and save 50% off your entire order today. From the makers of GLC 2000, now comes Actistatin Pro Athlete. The Actistatin formula gives you all four forms of glucosamine and chondroitin, plus Actistatin's triple patented delivery method to optimize cellular uptake and utilization of glucosamines, chondroitin, ascorbate, and manganese. Regenerate and maintain cartilage, promote joint mobility and flexibility, Replenish lost collagen. Get 20% off your next order using the coupon code SHR. Go to superhumanradio.com and click the GLC banner ad today. Push the limits. Feel the difference with Actistatin. Prime Nutrition is proud to present Max HP, their most scientifically formulated pre-workout supplement to date. Now available in two great tasting flavors, Tropic Fruit and Raspberry. Max HP is the most ultra-premium pre-workout available and is made without any artificial colors, flavors, or dye. Increasing blood flow to heighten anabolic activity, Max HP is designed to meet the heightened metabolic needs of high-performance athletes. Visit PrimeNutrition.com and use coupon code SUPERHUMANRADIO to receive 20% off of your entire order. Go to PrimeNutrition.com today. Never before has an anti-estrogen been so powerful. The triazole formula is built on a potent all-natural aromatase inhibitor called Pizol, which has been shown in clinical trial to be as effective as a leading prescription aromatase inhibitor. Pizol works in concert with the rest of the triazole formula to control estrogen while simultaneously boosting testosterone significantly. In fact, one of triazole's testers had a 120% increase in total testosterone and a 257% increase in free testosterone. Triazole is available at bodybuilding.com, nutriplanet.com, or where finer supplements are sold. For more information, check out getds.com. Madebyhemp.com sells the highest quality products derived from industrial hemp. Raw oils high in CBD, tinctures, and salves. You can also get fashionable apparel made from industrial hemp at madebyhemp.com. CBD is a constituent of industrial hemp that has no psychoactive properties, but has been shown to provide a variety of health benefits. Go to madebyhemp.com today and take a look at all of our amazing products. Use the coupon code SHR to save 25% off your entire order. MadeByHemp.com, your one-stop shop for all things hemp on the web. You're listening to the Superhuman Channel. Don't hate us because we feel good. Welcome back. You know, if you are a hard-training athlete, I don't care if you're a weekend warrior, um, most of us in this audience probably train as hard as real legitimate competitive athletes carbohydrates are an important uh, <clears throat> player in your ability to train harder and train longer and enter the the engineered carbohydrates this started back in the day uh when things like waxy maize started to come around and um and and really y- you are known to have one of the most sophisticated uh, most effective 
engineered carbohydrate sources in the world called carbolin. Talk about that. What is carbolin? Yeah, you know, I mean, <clears throat> as I said, you know, I've, I've used carbohydrates, and there's always a problem because I love bananas, but it wouldn't last very long as a fuel source. And I'm not a fan of the outdated, you know, electrolyte drinks that they push on us that is nothing more than sugar and salt. So I wanted to develop something for me first, <clears throat> excuse me, that would um, be absorbed as quick as a sugar, but would be completely sugar-free. And a sense of uh, carbolin is. It's a very uh, complex uh, starch product that within about five minutes, the same as a sugar, you've got glucose glucose in your system ready to be burned for fuel, but it's sugar-free. So you don't get all those insulin crashes like you do from a sugar where, you know, uh, when you take in a carbohydrate or sugar, your body produces it. This is what helps you to absorb um, and break down uh, those sugars and starches. So when you take a sugar, it elevates your insulin levels, and then you crash. So most people, um, you know, don't feel good about 30 minutes after a sugar. Well, car uh, carbolin has got a cool tail that it actually lasts for about 75 minutes. So you can take 50 grams prior to a workout, game, um, practice, and it will last you for, you know, 60 to 75 minutes depending on your activity level. But the good thing is, is you can replenish that at any time because it's so quickly absorbed. So intra, you could drink it during your workout. You could drink it on the sidelines. You can drink it uh, at halftime. Um, very, very cool. Mix it instantly and tastes great. Uh, I would not train without it. So how does how does a, a this type of a, a starch, but it gets into the bloodstream so quick like a sugar, get past the uh, insulogenic response? How does it not stimulate an insulogenic response? Well, it does. I mean, because you want that. So you do see that insulin uh, spike, but the difference is, is you don't have the sugar crash. You know, because uh, sugars are burnt so quickly, when your body drops uh, down that fat, insulin drops, you know, you're out of energy where, you know, again, it goes up very quickly, but then it just slowly burns down and uh, you don't even realize it's coming up, see? Now I understand. So what you're saying is it acts, it it, it has the good attributes that you'd want from a sugar, and that is that it gets into the bloodstream quickly and can be used as energy quickly. But it has the good attributes of a more complex uh, carbohydrate like a starch in that it lasts a long time. So you don't so – I see what you're saying now. I never really understood it. That's really amazing. It's interesting. You know, clinical trials that I finished up, um, I did a, um, a pre-diabetic group. These were people diagnosed in the diabetic stages. Um, their sugar, you know, was really high in the 80, 85, and I had one group get on sugar, and we measured their blood every 15 minutes, and you saw what you expected from sugar. Their, their glucose levels went up, and when they came back down, they were still higher than where they started. But the interesting thing with carbolin, their glucose levels shot up like you would expect, but at the end of that 70 minutes, they actually went back to normal. Their levels were below pre-diabetic, and at that point in time, they were no longer a, a diabetic uh, state so it's an interesting as uh, we call it a designer sugar that pre-diabetics um, and some of our uh, type 2 uh, perform very very well with it so it, it's an from a medical standpoint but from an athletic standpoint um, it's awesome because you can dictate how much and when you can absorb um, and, and how much glucose you have now, you were talking about before we went to break, you know, Loading is this good it. for, you know, yes. bike riders? Um, I had a guy that sent me an email just before the show and said, hey, I'm getting ready to do a marathon, and I typically use these goo packs. Do you have anything like it? Well, again, I'm not a fan of sugar and all these goo packs. It's brand. I'm not talking about somebody's brand. I'm just talking about these little squeeze packs. Typically, sugar and salt, so they're the same as the liquid drinks that you drink. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah, you're going to get a... First, but as a as a long distance runner, you need to sustain energy. What are you going to burn when when 15 minutes you burn that up? So that's why you'd want to use carbolin for if you're a bike rider, you put it on your bike and you can drink that along the way, and you will find that you'll have more energy throughout that race than what you had um, using you know sugars and things. 
What about but what about the day before? Lots of uh, athletes who are endurance athletes will eat pasta four or five times the day before to quote unquote carb right. load. They want to push glycogen storage up. Couldn't you just sip on carbolin all day long and get the same response? You could, you know, but because it's absorbed quickly and it's burned relatively fast, I would definitely combine it with foods because mm. you want some of those slower absorbing uh, starches. Gotcha. gotcha. But absolutely, uh, you know, if even as a bodybuilder back in the day, if I would have had carbolin, I would have used that to carb up on instead of all the stuff that I did. So hard to eat, you know, every hour. Um, it would have been a lot easier just drinking. Um, we have the AAEFX Carb Users Guide that we announce uh, during the commercial breaks. In that guide, it shows you how to use carbolin based on your weight and based on your performance level. Uh, it gives you specific metrics and formulas to use, doesn't it? It does. You know, uh, go grab a free copy of it. It's absolutely free. And that doesn't mean it's just a cheap, you know, cheesy written book. It's, it's a very well-written book that will give you all that information about carbs and how to use it. Now, you know, here, Dr. Jeff never would want you to run out um, and try something before you got to test drive it. So if you have not tried Carbolin, you need to go to Superhuman Radio, ask the scientist, and ask me for a free sample. Make sure you put your full address, and if you're from outside the state, make sure you also put your phone number um, because the, the mail and FedEx is now requiring phone numbers to ship things out. Right. The kind of, I'll send a sample and you try it for yourself and see if you can't feel the difference with just one dose. Yeah. It's really uh, a high octane, a uh, very interesting product uh, that, you know, hundreds of thousands, if not millions of uh, athletes throughout the world have used or are using. And, and more and more pro athletes are getting away from crappy drinks. I won't say any names, but uh, that are right. reminiscent of uh, alligators and using carbon <laughs> now. So there you go. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. Go to superhumanradio.com, ask the scientist, and ask Dr. Jeff for a free sample of Carbolin. And get the uh, Carb User's Guide uh, at getcarbolin.com today. So if you're just tuning in and you missed the first half, carbohydrates are good for athletes. Do not be afraid of them. And if you have any questions, again, you can send me a question uh, about carbs or anything else. Um, questions for you. There you go. All right, Dr. J, and we'll talk to you next week, brother. Take care, man. Bye-bye. Okay.